Let's go, girls. Come on. Hi, guys. So, today is November 13th. We are on Floss Tube 16, and I'm Amy, and that's S'more. You gonna say hi to the people, S'more? Hey. Show them your half-painted face. And back to the birds. Anyways. I think I got a lot done this week, y'all. Not much anywhere else other than stitching. So, first thing first. We did, um, I attended a live that Alicia did, who is Miss Crochet and Coffee. And I got some new followers, y'all. So hi to all the new peeps. Welcome to the madness. Um, and the randomness, because that's what we're really here for. Because if we haven't met, we'll learn. Um, so I'm going to show pictures of the big projects that I'm working on, because some of you have questioned. And I got some work done on Santa's house. Pretty proud of it right now. And I hit up Joann's for that sale. I bought 102 skeins of DMC thread. And I think I'm still missing two, two colors. I think one is for quotes and one is for the Jack Skeleton one, the Be Mine. I think. I could be wrong. Anyways, so let's let her figure out where she's going. Okay, there we go. It's amazing how little she is, but my entire chair, like, I feel like I'm about to fall out of it when she jumps up there. I'm talking about you. It's okay. Anyways, um, Ooh, I have a feeling this is going to be a rambly one, y'all. Just a heads up. Two minutes in. I got my intro. I got my date. I got what number floss tube. So I was good there. But the rest of this is going to be a hot mess. Um, what were we just talking about? Yes, so new peoples. Welcome to the crazy and the random. You guys, I'm super excited. I am officially... Plus 100 since I started doing floss tube. It's a freaking amazing. And I'm sure the husband will put a number around here somewhere of what the actual number is. And so I'm super amazed because the community that I have fallen into is just amazing. Not to say that all the other communities that I am in are not as equally amazing, but there's just something different about stitchers, about diamond painters. I don't know, we seem a little more chaotically organized, if that makes sense. That may not make sense to a lot of people, don't take offense to any of it, but we seem a little more chaotically organized. I don't know how else to explain that. I was trying to think that out in my head, but I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Anyways, moving on. This week's color street is what? Oh man, did I finally solve the problem and now I'm not gonna get it to work because you're a jerk. Oh, how do I stay perfectly still? Do you have any idea how hard that is for me phone? Okay. All right. I can tell you what I did different. Because <laughs> because Zakia. <laughs> That's what this segment's going to be called from now on. Because Zakia. I put my umbrella light 
over there, you know, the one that my husband had pointed out that was behind me and said it was useless. I thought I would try it out for this video, and apparently, no. This is making it even harder. What if I flip it around? Oh, that doesn't work. You see a bunch of reflections that way. We thought about it, and then we decided against it. I'm about to lose my mind. Does anybody else feel like it's a Monday? Because it feels like Monday to me. We'll explain in a minute. Let's see if I get some words on there, if I'll focus on the words. There. So these ones are called, I think, Heavens for Stylists. And they're a beautiful chocolate brown with gold and red and orange glitters in there. So these were the ones that I had planned to do the week before Thanksgiving. I can't even, I just, I can't even. Is it really Thanksgiving next week, y'all? I just can't. So my turkey trot, because there was a huge conversation in the live video with Miss Crochet and Coffee about the turkeys. My turkey trot will be on next week. Because I'm wearing those for Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm. I sure am. The other question we had was um, giveaway this month. I do a giveaway every month. And these are the options. So if you win, if you put in an order, for those who are new and questioning, when you put in an order, I automatically get an email saying, hey, so-and-so put in an order with you, um, yada, 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 whatever. And then I will do my best, because I'm not always good at remembering, I will do my best to email you right away and say, hey, thanks for your order you are entered in the giveaway. And then on the, so like this month, there are 30 days. So on the 29th, that will end. And on the 30th, I will pull the person from the random wheel, the wheel, the, what did, what was that called? Decisions, Decisions Roulette, I think is the app that I use. I'll put your name on for every order that you put in and then you get a chance to win. So these ones are called Bring Your Slay Game. These ones are still like the fave. They're bloody gorgeous. This was from the Halloween sets. I'm trying to do it without a glare, but that's black. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. So it's black and red ombre. They're gorgeous. And you can use these, obviously, any time you're around. So those are bloody gorgeous. And then these ones are called Best in Show. And I offered these ones, and these are a dark chocolate, kind of like what's on my nails, with just gold speckled through it, and they're beautiful. I offered these ones as a part of the giveaway because Color Street sent me some, five of them, I think, um, as a thank you for making Best in Show in August and September. And that was thanks to you guys for putting in your orders, helping me out, spreading the word, sending your peoples to my website. So I wanted to send this one out. If you choose it, you have three to choose from if you win. And chances are, if no one picks that one to win with, I'll just throw it in the next time I do strips. So I try to alternate between strips and if I can reach it, goodie bags. So I get these little cute goodie bags. I try to get different designs. And inside the goodie bag, you get a nail polish remover pump, a file buffer with all the four sides, the file, buff, polish, what does it say? File, smooth, buff, and shine. And then you also get a cute little nail file to do your tips with. And because we tend to forget to take care of ourselves, I thought a nice, healthy, sweet snack is perfect when you're doing your nails. So I alternate between the two. And again, I'm showing all this because I have had questions. So I thought I would share for those who are new. Um, but this month is this. Last month, I let you choose. So you could either choose between the strips or the bag. And my winner chose the bag. And my winner, you know who you are. 
It's coming. I promise. It's coming. I, I had a couple little things that I wanted to make and throw in there for you. So, anyways. Moving on. So, this was... Oh, see, Can you see the umbrella? Can you see it? This is why this doesn't work, babe. <laughs> I don't know how to do this now. <laughs> anyways. So, this was only like halfway full. Maybe a little more than halfway full before I went and got all my DMC colors. And then these are all, all the extras. Because I have this thing, I don't know, it's probably a, not the best habit to get into. Which, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to break myself of that habit after seeing all of this. Because I'm the type of person where I kit up each project... So, like when I did Haunted Mansion, every skein that I needed for that, I went and got for Santa's house. Even though there were a couple colors that were similar or the same, I went and got another skein and kitted up all of that. Because I put them on rings, like this, and I think there was only like one, one or two. I think like the 741 and like the 703 or something like the orange and the Chris and the, the Christmas jeez, the green and like the orange I think also got used on Hun and Mansion but I didn't want to have to trade between back and forth because I would confuse myself because that's really easy to do for me anyway so I just kit them up separately which results in a lot of extras which I'm okay with. I'm not like, I'm not mad about it. But it means that the next time I go to kit up, because I kitted up four projects. So I kitted up Be Mine, which was the Jack Skeleton project. I kitted up Quotes to Live By. I quit, um, Quotes to Live By, what was the other one by her? Love You to the Moon and Back. And, um, the miss I always say it wrong. I want to say mystical, but I think it's mythical medieval, which is getting ready to start at the end of November, I think. I'm still waiting on my fabric. I'm super excited. Super excited. Y'all, what? <sighs> when I said it felt like Monday, it's because it feels like Monday. So my van didn't want to start this morning. She was kind of doing a chug, chug, chug thing. We think it's a battery. She wasn't having it. It's too cold. And then my body is like, whoa, fall. We totally skipped fall. It's now winter. Now, I understand that my winters are like other people's summer and fall because it's 52 degrees. But when you live in a state where... 112 to 120 is typical for a summer. 52 is like freezing. <laughs> you have to remember, I was born and raised in Vegas. So our weather out there was not much different from out here. So I'm used to hot. Now, being younger, not that I'm old, but being younger, summer was my jam. I loved summer. Bring it on. Give it to me all year long. I was happy as a clam. And now that I'm older and my body has had some changes after having kids and my body is still making crazy changes because I have teenagers. I think that's just mentally though. Um, I don't, I don't personally like the summer. I'm not comfortable sweating that much. I don't like it. <laughs> but the cold... I thought I was going to be okay, and I'm not. I'm freezing. I got fuzzy socks on. I got a hoodie on. My finger keeps doing this little crooked thing where it keeps getting stuck. My body aches. It just sucks. <laughs> it's all falling apart. I fall apart every winter. Every win I'm a snowman. That's it. I'm a snowman. I fall apart every winter, and by the time we get me all pottled back up, it's summer. I'm the opposite of a snowman. What's the opposite of a snowman? Because 
snowmen fall apart during the summer. We need to think this through, guys. We need to we need to think this through. I'm the opposite of a snowman. I am a snowman in reverse. I come together perfectly during the summer and my body doesn't ache as much because my bones don't get as cold. And during the winter, everything just falls apart. My shoulders are freaking hurting. My knees are hurting. I'm trying really hard not to rock the chair, but I might just rock the chair because I have to. <sighs> my finger got locked the other day. Let me show you why it locked up on me though. Have you ever stitched on a project so long that your fingers are like this? And you just go, oh gosh, please fix it. <laughs> Before I do that, though, let me, because again, we had some questions. We were talking about 310 in the diamond painting and how a lot of people, a lot of people do not like uh, 310 and I don't blame them because a lot of times they're not the best quality compared to all the other diamonds when you're diamond painting and sometimes you get a lot of trash in them and they just don't seem to like or care about the 310s as much as they do all the other colors. But I brought up a subject about how I will never complain about 310 in diamond painting again. Here's why. Here's, here's why. <laughs> so this one is called Mother of Dragon. And it is based off of the Game of Thrones Khaleesi with the ba baby dragon. Now I haven't seen it, so don't no spoiler alerts. I'm reading the books. I'm on the second book right now. I'm about a quarter of the way through it. But my husband loves the series. He's the reason why I'm reading the books and because Michelle said so. Um, but I, I fell in love with this pattern. I will never complain about 310 again ever when diamond painting. And if I do, one of you need to come through the phone or your computer or your tablet or your TV or however you're watching and just whap me and give me a what for. I might ask you what it was for and you just need to look at me and go, you know why, and just walk away. I'll figure it out. Y'all. I got the first page done. This is the second page, and this whole section is basically 310. And then I start getting into the confetti. I took it off the Q snap because I had moved it. Can you guys see right there? And those two there? And those right there? That was 12 stitches out of 5,200 stitches that were not 310. 10 of those stitches were 37.99. I can't remember what the other two were. They're the two little brown ones right in here. But the other ones were all $37.99. So it's going to be a lot of three ten, dollars and a lot of $37.99s. But this is why I'm not allowed to ever complain. Ever. About three ten dollars in a diamond painting. Because pu pulling out trash and ciphering through those is a lot easier So, and just in case anyone's wondering, this, she's not my biggest beast, but she's my second. That's the length, and the width gets even longer, and I'll try not to kiss, kiss my projects, but. Oh, and I'm showing you the backside. I don't think I'm doing too bad on the back. My backs are usually not pretty. They're just not. They are what they are. So. There's that. I think the back on this one came out so pretty because it was solid block stitching. Now I gotta figure out how I'm doing this. It's okay. We'll figure it out. And I am like crumpling it up so if you see a lot of wrinkles in it, don't freak out. I'm doing that on purpose. I'm trying to soften the Eda. Because that's what Stitching Jewel says to do. And she's my idol, so I listen. I know it's all messed up. It's fine. It's fine. We'll fix it. I'll fix it. So there's one of my big projects. My other one is this one, and we'll try to keep the glare off of it. 
This one's called Dragonkin. Now, this was the first one that I picked out when we were trying to find a Game of Thrones type of project. And I couldn't find one. So we thought this one was really pretty. My husband and I are both into dragons and mythical and fairies and all that stuff. So we like we both agreed that we like this one. So that's this was the first one that I bought. And I am sad to say, I've had no progress. The top of her head is still there. I've had zero progress. Zero. We need to fix that. I say we like y'all are going to come over and help me. I need to fix that. Y'all need to kick my butt in gear. That's because I've been so focused. When I told y'all last week that I was going to jump on this one and start, I apparently was not kidding. Because I had only meant to start. I'm showing you the backside again. What the F? Please hold. I don't know how I did this. I don't know what's happening. I just live here. I don't, oh gosh. I'm trying to mess with the Ada to soften it up, but it doesn't want to cooperate. You know, it's fine. Fluff it down. We'll get there. Don't kiss it. Just don't kiss it. It's my only concern. Don't kiss it. Okay, let's just stop there stop there. I'm having issues. I'm telling y'all, it feels like a Monday. Ben didn't want to start. My body didn't want to get out of bed. My coffee was frozen by the time I got home. I'm waiting for icicles to just start freezing. My freaking fingers can't hold anything. Which I already have like some sort of nerve issue thing going on where like my arms all of a sudden just go numb or I can't feel my fingertips, or whatever. But now it's getting worse, because it's not because I can't feel them, it's because they're so cold I can't feel them. So, like, yeah. Holding the needle is proving to be difficult. Focused on this guy. I don't know why I held it up there for so long. I was thinking, sorry. I did get a lot done on Santa's house, though. And the other room came out, and it's super cute. And it is um, three little elves, and it looks like they're, like, making all sorts of toys. I'm not done with the room yet, so don't, don't get too proud of me. But there's the two little elves. And it doesn't look like much, and now I understand the importance of backstitching. So she has, trying not to give the middle finger, she has a little bear right here, which is not necessarily defined yet. And he's got a little mallet in his hand and a train. And then there's another elf over here that is holding wrapped presents. So there's that. But because I was hanging out with Alicia and all of her awesome friends, do you guys see what I see? Because the last time you guys saw this, only little buddy over here was done and a little bit of the snow. This is what happens when you hang out live. I can't see with all of your peoples. Get it done. Oh, and let's not talk about this little piece of snow over here. Okay, so what happened was I would have been farther along on this project. This room probably would have been done minus backstitching. And this down here would have been done, minus backstitching, because all I'm missing over here is the little snowman. I think when it gets cold outside, my brain says I quit, and it just stops. So I counted this little section. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can learn how to manage this. Someday I'll get it. This little table right here. You know how they tell you to count twice, stitch once? Apparently, I need to count like five times and then have someone else count it for me. Because when I counted this table, I counted on the pattern 31 across. I counted twice. 31 across. And I went along and I went do do do, did my thing. I had half the elf done. And all of a sudden, I realized. 
His little hand was touching the bear. That's wrong. So I went back and I recounted the pattern. And magically, two more stitches showed up in this table because it was supposed to be 33 across, not 31. So I had to undo all of him from his little neck all the way down and then undo the one leg and then extend it by two stitches, bring it down and then redo him. So at that point I was so mad because I had to frog him all out and I was so proud of myself because I thought I was gonna get it done that I came down here and I started working. And everything was going along fine and I was all happy as a clam and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this whole bottom done. Man, I can't count past three, y'all. This right here is supposed to have three stitches between this white square and this white square. Do you know how many I have? Two. I have two. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. Let's let let's just where's my little thingy? Let's just see if I can show you. Can you see all them used holes? All that up there. And all this over here. I was working on the second poof of my snowman when I realized why is his tummy touching this part of the snow when there's supposed to be a, a box between the two. So I had gotten all the way up here with my snowman and frogged all that out and got so mad that I still need to frog this out, but I'm not talking to it right now. That corner's in timeout. I came back up here that I was originally angry with because of the elf, which is why I came down here. But I'm making progress. I'm making progress. And it looks really pretty. I love the colors. And the husband thinks I might actually get this one done in time for Christmas. Ye of little faith. Although if I have to keep frogging. I'm still, I'm, and I'm trying not to get too angry with myself because I'm still learning how to count two over two. Because this is what I'm used to working on, which is two over one. So, I'm still learning all the things. But that's all the stitching that I've done. Those were the only two projects that I worked on this week. I didn't do any more on my diamond painting because I'm waiting for that Christmas present to come in. I checked on it last night. It said it was still in San Francisco. I checked on it again this morning and it says it's in my, my town. So maybe within the next day or two, but I don't want to keep going on the Dragonkin diamond painting that I have because I don't want to get so far along in it that I don't want to quit because right now I only have like a small section that I can just put it away and it's no big deal. But if I get like half of it done, I don't want it weeble wobbling all over the place and beads start falling off and uh, I don't want to do all that. But I have one that's coming in specifically a Christmas present that I ordered from another company and the beads were so bad because they had like little nubs on them and they kept buckling and popping off that I just quit. I did a small top corner and I was done. Um, tried contacting them. I still haven't heard from them. Not a peep. So I went ahead and ordered it almost a month ago from this other company, which I can't think of who it is, um, which is not unheard of. But everyone else that I had watched ordering from this company was like, oh, I got mine in 17 days. I ordered mine on the 12th. When did I order that? I ordered it on the 11th. Oh. Today is the 13th. It's already past the 30 day mark. Anyways. Hopefully it's coming today or tomorrow. Because I really want to get that one done. Because it's a Christmas present. 
and I was supposed to be done with it already and we were supposed to be prepping to frame it. It's okay though. First world problems. Life happens. It is what it is. So, I did give myself a little stitchy break. I mean, are you really going to see the progress on this? Probably not. I did give myself a, a cause I'm not joking. I should have taken a picture of it. My finger was stuck like this and these two were like cramped like this because of the, cause I stitched double handed or with two hands. So I'm constantly pulling up, pulling down, pulling up, pulling down. So these two fingers were just like stuck. So I needed to unstick them. So I decided to crochet. Which this I love I like this pattern so far, but at the same time this pattern is starting to get boring because I've done it twice now. You might have to go back a video or two to see the 20 pound baby dress. Not angry at it anymore. I've moved on. But I've gotten a couple more rows of this done. I still need to keep going though. So because I need like 20 rows of this to get done, and then I have to go back and watch the video to see what I'm supposed to go back up and pico and whatever. All that fun stuff. So. Oh, hang out. Don't be a jerk. Okay. So. There's that. Oh. I also bought this from Joann's. And it's got a bunch of, uh, let's try not to lobster claws. I bought all of them, obviously, individually. So I have some flathead pins here, some eye pins here. I have large, uh, smaller chain, larger chain, some lobster claws, some... I can never remember the name of them. Pewter? If Kelly's watching this, she's screaming at me right now because I can never remember. Slate? Pewter. Something. I can't think of it. That color, that color, whatever that color is. And then more silver rings. Um, because I made a scissor fob and I have a gazillion beads. So, for those of you who are new who made it this far, if you don't know, I am a insane multi-crafter. So I do scrapbooking, I do altering items, I do mixed media, I do making my own albums from scratch. I um, I don't even know anymore. I, I honestly, pretty much I am willing to try everything and anything except for polymer clay. I think polymer clay is my only, and like drawing, I can't draw. It's okay. Um, card making, I'm into all that. I'm into all of it. So, I have a buku ton of beads that I used to use on mixed media canvases. I would glue them all down and then gesso over them and paint them and make them into all sorts of fun stuff. But I haven't done that in a year? Two years? How long has it been? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But I still have all the beads. So, I have now found a way to use the beads and all the buku stuff. But I didn't have any of these because that's not what I was using them for. I was using them as accents on canvases. So there's that. So now I might make some scissor fobs and I don't know. I have no idea. What else can you do with those? I'm sure one of you guys will tell me what else I can do with those. Um, what else do we need to ramble about today? Because today is not Monday, it's Tuesday, but it sure as heck feels like a Monday. Hmm. I don't know. I think I covered all my bases, which is kind of weird. Did I get it all? I didn't really do much. I didn't really do much. I do know that I need to kick my button gear um, to start just making things so I can send them off to Michelle for her. Um, I'm looking around like I do every video to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, to make for her giveaways and stuff like that. Um, 
this month is, and I know I'm not going to pronounce it right, the asphyxia. Asphyx. I'm not going to be able to say it correctly. I was try. I was trying really hard in my head to say it out loud, but it's not coming out right. Check out Michelle, who is Bendy Stitchy Michelle Garrett here on YouTube, and she talks about it. You can also check her out on um, Instagram, and I think she's just Bendy Stitchy on Instagram. I think so. Anyways, um, she does. She's trying to do a charity a month, which I think is just absolutely phenomenal. Next month, I. Th think she mentioned Amy, who is Amy Loves Toads, and a um, animal shelter. Uh, sounds like it's still up in the air, so I don't want to confirm or deny. But January is Parkinson's, and they're doing the Michael J. Fox, and I'm super, not that I'm not excited about all of them, but I really want to be able to send her some things for that one, because my husband's uh, grandfather had Parkinson's. And so, any way I can help out, you know, not that I'm saying I don't want to help out all the charities, but there are some that unfortunately have touched each of us individually, and so those ones of course have a little more tug and a little more pull than ones that we may not know of because we don't have those in our lives, if that makes sense. Like I didn't know about asphyxia until, um, I, th I might misspeak and I'm sorry, I think it was Heather. Um, was talking about it and Michelle and her got together so that way they could do the charity and I couldn't even imagine having my child not be able to speak to me and I mean okay as a mom of four there is not a day that has gone by where I'm just like could you please stop talking but to not be able to because you literally can't, like you think you're saying the words, but the words aren't coming out right. I don't know if I could, I mean, obviously I would if I had to. You deal with the challenges you're given, but it's hard to imagine because I don't have that in my life. So I just got a message and it disappeared because I didn't look at it fast enough. Sorry, I'll get to you in a minute. Um, my video is about to close out anyway. I'm hoping to get project, project, what? Progress done on Dragon, because that was my original BAP. Some more of the 310 on my other BAP. And let's build a snowman in the right spot. I'm showing you the wrong area. Build a snowman in the right spots, because I need to unfrog all that and get the room done. And I think those are the three major projects that I'm hoping to get worked on this week. I'm hoping that diamond painting comes in. If that diamond painting does come in, there's three that should be coming. Hopefully they're all together. I don't know how it works. Um, I'll do an unboxing of those because my first unboxing seemed to do really well. So thank you guys for watching and joining and hanging out. On that note, I will say my goodbyes. Stay random and don't kiss your projects. I'll see you guys next time.